There's clearly always energy around listening to Hillary Clinton speak. Uh, what is Hillary Clinton's role right now? I think elder statesmen of a party desperately in need of direction. I think everyone who's looking at 2020 will listen to her very closely, hope for her favored uh, glances, hope for kind words from her. She's in California today. I wouldn't be surprised if Senator Harris is out there with her because she's one of, I think, the front runners for 2020. But I think senior statesmen in a Democratic Party that need senior statesmen. What do you think, Roland? Uh, no, look, she's, she's someone who, who lost. Think about it. Modern technology, we now live stream things. And so uh, if this was Jimmy Carter in 1980, if this was uh, Michael Dukakis uh, in this period, we would be covering uh, it that way. And so wherever she goes, uh, we're still going to that cover just it. Is that media flaw? No, that, no, no that, it's, just, we got to cover? it's just a matter, of, it's a matter of that she speaks, we have access to it, and we cover it. But here's the piece. I, the Democrats right now are not in need of, of, of some kind of statesman. You allow leadership to organically rise. And that's the problem people are having. They keep saying, oh, Democrats need somebody right now. No, you don't. You allow the energy to build. Leadership naturally rises to the top. Don't manufacture it. And that's the problem most people have in D.C. Allow it to happen. And it is happening. But Amy, uh, you did imply, as some people have, that we're looking to 2020. Is there, given everything you studied about this uh, election and wrote about, right. is there a role for a Hillary Clinton in, in 2020 as a candidate? There's a role for her on the sidelines. I don't know if there's a role for her as a candidate. I think a lot of people have Clinton fatigue right now. They're looking, as Roland said, for someone to kind of bubble up some fresh blood. But I think there is definitely a role for her to play on the sidelines. As she's indicated, she set up a PAC. She wants to do this Onward Together movement. She wants to, to be a part of this resistance. And I think there is a role. There are a lot of people who are longing and craving for her to, to still continue to be a presence on the, in the Democratic Party. But he, he wants 2020 because he wants to skip 2018. You can't skip 2018. And plus, if you're Democrats, you can't skip the gubernatorial races, the mayoral races. That's where your bench comes from. Don't just focus on 2020. Uh, Jonathan Allen, here's the question, though. Uh, 2018, not a presidential election, requires some leadership. And if we're waiting around for this leadership to bubble up in the Democratic Party, uh, could 2018 come around with a, a, a result that Democrats are not interested in, that, that the Republicans don't do as badly as, as some people think they might? I'm not sure that the Democrats actually need uh, a sort of clear leader of the party heading into the 2018 midterms. Congressional elections are very different than presidential elections. You can often run pretty much just against the incumbency. We saw that happen uh, you know, in 2010 with Republicans running against President Obama. We saw it in 2006 with Democrats running largely against uh, President George W. Bush at the time. Uh, I think there's time for Democrats to figure out who their next leader is. I think Roland's right that that's something that's largely going to bubble up uh, from the bottom more than come from the top, especially if there's any lesson from this last election in both parties, I think that there's a lot of energy at the grassroots level and uh, some frustration with uh, being dictated to by Washington. So Hugh Hewitt, if you were to um, to, to be giving uh, Hillary Clinton advice at this point on her commentary, what's the best thing to do? Because when she complains about the election, people say she's, she's whining about the election. Uh, a couple people on this uh, TV screen have written a book about how uh, they didn't run the election, the, the campaign all that well. Uh, what, what should she she be saying because people are looking to hear something from her. I think she ought to ignore pundits like me giving her advice on how she gets the most joy out of life. However, there are 25 endangered Democrats up in 2018 running in Senate races. I would accept invitations from them to come and raise money and be with them. And then when there is a focused issue, like the President Trump imminent decision to withdraw from the Paris Accord, Democrats do need a senior states person, someone like Secretary Clinton, someone like President Clinton, someone like former Vice President Gore to step up and make an argument. These apoplectic and apoplectic uh, proclamations of doom don't do it, but to persuade people, someone like Secretary Clinton can step up and make an argument about why you want to stay in the Paris Agreement. I won't agree with, I won't agree with her, but perhaps some people in the middle will. But, but Allie, did, did Hugh miss the big march they had over the issue of climate and the environment? Uh, I don't think they needed Hillary Clinton or anybody else telling them they need to march. This is where grassroots organizing is. A, a party is rebuilt uh, from its grassroots movements. Democrats uh, are obviously, uh, you have Tom Perez now as the DNC chair, and he needs to rebuild the party a la John, a la Howard Dean with 50 states. Uh, and so they don't need that right now. Let him 
Hillary Clinton do what Hillary Clinton does. You're right. She can go raise money. She can do those things. But the bottom line is, she, to, to Amy's point, she's inspired thousands of women. You look at the number of women coming out of the Women's March who are now running for office, you're going to see a flood of women on the local level, on the state level, on the national level. It takes place. They're going to need money. They're going to need resources. They're going to need mailing lists. That's what she can do. But let her do her. Stop saying you focus on 2020 and be an elder statesman. And people like her when she's sort of on the sidelines and not the candidate, but they like her in the political atmosphere. They like her. They want to hear from her. So I think, yeah, to Roland's point, let her be her. Jonathan, is she being her well? Uh, I, I guess I'm trying to get at the fact that there's a lot of criticism of Hillary Clinton. The, the, she, she can't do anything without everybody on all sides <laughs> commenting on how she should do it. Uh, what's the right her to be? Uh, is, is, the, is the frustration with the election now something of the past? And as Hugh suggests, criticism perhaps of how we're dealing with the Paris Accord or the Russia investigation, is that the current discussion to have? Ali, I think you're uh, walking me through a minefield in terms of trying to dictate to what, uh, what Secretary Clinton ought to do. I do think Amy's absolutely right, though, that uh, there are a lot of people who are interested in what she has to, has to say, and she will take fire. And one of the things that her supporters like best about her is that she will uh, come back from that fire, that she will bounce back when she's uh, attacked. And so, uh, you know, I don't think that's going to dissuade her from weighing in on issues. I don't think it's going to dissuade her from raising money for, for candidates. Um, and, you know, I, I think she will be part of the, the political and policy discussion in this country, uh, you know, as long as as long as she wants to. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh let me ask you uh, real quick. W w what role does she play when it comes to Donald Trump? Is it, 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 does he to, to Donald Trump? Is Hillary Clinton irrelevant? Is he is she a thorn in his side or is she somebody he has to pay attention to? I think President Trump is well advised to take a uh, very close measure of everything that Secretary Clinton says about him and his policies to respond in a measured fashion, something we're not used to and I wish we would get used to. But I, I don't think a fight break out here. Roland wants to have a, a fight, but I'm not going to have a, I think Secretary Clinton has an honored and esteemed place in American politics and people got to give her her due and listen to her when she speaks. All right, well, if you guys, if you two are not going to fight, then I'm going to go 